What are prime and conversion costs? Remember that manufacturing costs, also called product costs, are made up of three categories, direct materials, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead, which are all the indirect costs. These three costs can be grouped into prime and conversion costs. Prime costs are costs which are directly incurred to create a product. Note the word direct, which indicates that prime costs are made up of direct materials plus direct labor. They're considered the main cost of the product, consisting of the directly traceable raw materials, which we use to construct the product, and the direct labor, the workers who directly work to produce the product. Conversion costs are the costs which are incurred to convert the raw material into a finished product. Conversion costs are therefore equal to direct labor plus manufacturing overhead. This grouping makes sense because it's the labor that takes the raw material and makes the finished product using the factory, the equipment, the electricity, all of which make up manufacturing overhead. So this is just a different way of grouping the manufacturing costs based on what those costs represent. Let's do a quick example. Abraham Inc. produces 1,000 units of a product. Total direct materials are $20,000. Total direct labor is $10,000 and total manufacturing overhead is $40,000. What are the total prime costs? Remember that prime costs are made up of the direct costs, which is the direct materials and the direct labor. Prime costs therefore equal $20,000 of direct material and $10,000 of direct labor for a total prime cost of $30,000. Now let's calculate total conversion costs. Conversion costs are made up of the costs incurred to convert the raw materials into a finished good. Conversion costs equal $10,000 of direct labor plus $40,000 of manufacturing overhead for a total conversion cost of $50,000. What is the total cost of manufacturing all 1,000 units of this product? That's the direct material plus the direct labor plus the manufacturing overhead, which is $20,000 plus $10,000 plus $40,000 for a total of $70,000. By adding up all of the manufacturing costs, we can determine the total manufacturing costs for all products. Let's do one more example to demonstrate prime and conversion costs. Abraham Inc. produces 1,000 units of a product. The total prime costs for the product are $30,000 and the total conversion costs are $50,000. Can you use this information to calculate the total manufacturing cost of this product? And the answer is no. If we did that, we would be duplicating the direct labor portion of the costs. Prime costs plus conversion costs are equal to direct materials plus direct labor plus direct labor plus manufacturing overhead. So prime costs and conversion costs should never be added together. Remember, prime costs are equal to direct materials plus direct labor, and conversion costs are equal to direct labor plus manufacturing overhead. And remember, this is just another way of grouping product costs. Thanks so much for watching.